All right, what's up, guys? Adam here. Welcome back to another Milan career mode in FIFA 21. This is episode number 60, guys. I'd like to see us maybe get to episode number 100, and I know you guys actually want to because the last Milan career mode has 5,000 views. That's just incredible. The support is there. The watch time is there. So I see that you guys really want to see this series, and I understand that. But at the same time, for those of you who are subscribed to me, maybe because of the Milan career mode, if you guys actually would go check out the Nobs FC career mode if you like this one i'm sure you guys would actually like that one maybe you guys just haven't given it a chance i understand maybe you didn't like the league i chose but at the same time we're doing some big big things there so you guys would actually like to go check that out for those of you who actually have it you guys can i'm going to be leaving it in the description so hopefully you guys will check that out now remember last time when i actually put in roma and juve and the game crashed well this time the same thing happened with roma and juve but the game's not crashing just for some reason all the edits that i did on the kits like the changing of the numbers it just for some reason just decided not to work so i've removed the roma and juve name and likenesses from this and i'm gonna have them back once i actually can let's take a look at the objectives and the challenges for this season and take a look at how they're going lofgren currently has 101 goals trying to break that all-time goal scoring record the invincibles is now at 15 and you guys saw that it's gonna be tough i'm telling you it's gonna be tough because number one we disabled sharpness so so hopefully we're going to be playing like 50 sharpness all the time. And we currently sit at 15. We'll be updating it at the end or at the beginning of each episode. Gijo Donnarumma, 426 appearances. And this episode is going to start these challenges. The goals, we're trying to break the Serie A scoring record of 118 goals. If we don't do it, maybe we can have a big consequence. All of the goals break the single season Serie A goal scoring record by one player held by Gonzalo Higuain and Chiro Immobile and the clean sheet record of 21 held by Buffon 2011 2012 2015 2016 so we're trying to do that and let's get into this episode and I did edit the kits I made the home kit just a little bit darker I, I hope you guys would actually respect that I think the the red was a little bit too bright I took the red from their actual logo but I think this just makes it a little bit nicer and as you can see we do have the white numbering on the shorts as well i put black shorts black socks let me know if you think this looks better than the white shorts uh like i said i can actually fix it up but i'm really liking this still with the gold trim and the black stripes and we also have the coppa italia patch on top of the puma logo we have the scudetto patch so there's that and nothing else was changed on the goalkeeper kit of gigio donnarumma let's start the Serie A off guys but before that i have like a transfer i actually want to make in mind take a look at ryan gravenberch he's been suggested to me like a couple of times in this series throughout and i never really like actually looked at him he's got some decent straight on him stamina he's 23 years old now 83 overall this guy can continue to grow he's a central midfielder he doesn't have the best of defending stats but maybe to play him as a defensive midfielder and i think i might be actually trying to do like a swap deal between him and manuel locatelli we brought him back he won the Serie A with us go straight midfielder for midfielder they have around the same valuation locatelli is a little bit older they want ivan pellegrini <laughs> So I definitely don't want to see Ivan Pellegrini go. Even Nicolo Zagnolo, because I know you guys, you want me to keep the same players from the beginning. The only real player we let go was Rebic and Hakan. So I don't know. I, I, I'd like to pick up Gravenberch, but at the same time, sell Locatelli. So I think we're just going to go ahead, just put 60 million, see what they have to say about this. I'm excited. It's in theme of what Milan actually signed back in the day those dutch players were phenomenal for milan and he's got some fantastic traits on him flair outside foot shot and technical dribbler so we're gonna try and sign graven birch we're actually gonna delegate right now so we can actually get him maybe after this game maybe try and send off locatelli on one final game he did what he had to do when he joined milan oh just absolutely beautiful with the lighting mod the pitch mod just everything coming together to look absolutely gorgeous and maybe these videos are gonna hold you off until Milan actually comes back to start playing in the new year we have Calabria Concesiao starting I'm also gonna show you the third kit with the gold numbering and lettering that also I'm very excited about I think the kits actually look a lot better with black shorts 
I think that's what it actually was missing. We have the Scudetto patch, we have that Coppa Italia patch, and I straighten out the sides and all that. Let's kick this match off, hopefully starting off with a big victory. And maybe could have actually switched some of their kits because they look like they're clashing just a little bit, but I don't think it matters. I know that every team's going to be tough, guys. We're playing with these sliders. Gameplay mod's still not on. Lofgren trying to start off well here, as Ben has said. Sending in Erling Haaland's going to chip the goal. What a start. What a start as Ben Asser plays a beautiful ball in for Erling Haaland. And you can see these home kits on display in full as Haaland getting us the first goal of the season. Trying to score 118. It's 1-0. That's a good block by Contesiao. Erling Haaland now. Keep going Pellegrini. We're going to try and find Teo Hernandez instead. Teo getting forward as he usually does as Teo Hernandez. This is lovely by Teo Hernandez. Oh my god what a strike by Teo Hernandez back up to 94 he went down to 93 because of his injury and he gets such a fantastic goal there coming up from the back an attacking fullback man one of the world's best right now just pushes it forward hits it on the half volley the goalkeeper absolutely no chance there as Teo it's 2-0 and yes I also fixed up the collar I put it back to what it was and I'm going to have to do some more fixing next time. Benacer needs to be careful. All right. Romagnoli not really doing his job there. And we have a game on our hands, guys. We might have, like, one of the best teams in the world. But it still can't stop them from scoring on me because of my poor defending. It's 2-1. Cross coming in. Gijo punching. It wasn't Romagnoli who got to it. Ivan Pellegrini now. Erling Haaland. Keep going, Pellegrini. Back into Erling. He gives it right back to him. They're so aware of the situation, guys, as Pellegrini sends in. There's Olaf Lofgren. What a ball by Pellegrini. Lofgren in the box. 102nd goal for Milan. And we're up 3-1, guys. Hopefully, we can just take it easy for the rest of the game. Don't need to be stressed out. Going to see which one of the two can actually score 36 goals this season. And even more. We need 37. So, uh, honestly, it could be any, any one of them. All in this... He's just so great, man. He just needs to make those runs in. He seems like he's actually doing it today. Tonali, I'm trying to actually select him as the player. And it's... A <laughs> what is defending right now? 3-2. Rafael Leao now. Locatelli. You're offside, Alan. Locatelli now. Into Lofgren. Keep going, Sandro. Sandro Tonali is through on goal. Looking to chip the goalkeeper. Yes. The chip just works wonders, man, in this game. Lofgren with the quick thinking. Finding Sandro. Finding the back of the net. It's 4-2. Tonali. Let's make it 5 here. Pellegrini with the run inside. We need to put in as many as we can this season. Pellegrini. Oh my god, Pellegrini. Great awareness. Finds Rafael Leao. Ivan Pellegrini, man. He's so good. And Leao. Let's go. More of that. Defending maybe some questions asked. Tommy Asu's there for solidity. He's been so good when Kabak wasn't. And um, it's really getting me nervous that we don't have the Champions League patch and the Serie A patch. I'm going to fix that come next episode. But that's a big start to the season. Robin Barch. Uh, I think they actually chose Sporadic for a squad role. Gonna go ahead and accept it. Robin Barch is our first, maybe only signing of the season. Because that's really where I actually wanted to add some depth look at this news article players that'll boss the midfield in 2025 and one of them is Nicolo Zagnolo just he started off well at Milan he had his his big games he had he did what he can do here but now I think his time is actually up at Milan interest in Van de Beek he's been on my short list still waiting for some offers if we don't get them what do you guys want to do I'm gonna try to turn him a little bit more defensively it's gonna take like 215 weeks that's nuts okay well that's what we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna play him as a defensive central midfielder i know he seems a little bit more attacking but he's got some good strength on him we're gonna look to use him currently has the number 18 honestly it's just gonna be good for depth i'm still waiting for some loan offers i'm still waiting for some transfer offers i just realized that locatelli was not on the transfer list amazing adam yeah even our away kit it just, I, i'm pretty sure i put the patches 
when editing the kits and you guys actually haven't seen the away kit while playing but i'm gonna go ahead and simulate this match if i need to jump in it's against us who are down in 12th place i know sometimes they give me problems i'll jump in they do have mckinney so maybe this could be a tough match that's gonna be our lineup let's try and pick up another big three points this season is more gonna be focused on those big games against like juve roma holland in the box good save by pavlenka on leao so we're gonna be showing those I could sometimes calendar simulate, but I saw a couple of episodes back. You guys don't want me to calendar sim. Maybe quick simming would be better. But Sassuolo, right now, they're actually holding us off. And they're on an attack right now. And let's see if Kessie can get us going as Erling Haaland. Let's go, Erling Haaland. Come on. Finally. Maybe he's starting to score a lot more than maybe his first season. Maybe joining a new team was tough for him. As Erling Haaland gets us going. Final 15 minutes. Sometimes this comes back to... <laughs> actually bite me but oh, we're gonna continue oh nicely done by Leao Paulo Valente got a big boost to his potential after that loan spell as Leao now trying to look to bring it around Chetonze but he just stays so strong nice ball Vasparadori and Ketia almost ruining Gijo's first clean sheet of the season how we actually let him just get through there I'll never understand guys Game's not done yet, eh? McKenney. Watch out, guys. Getting a challenge, Takeiro. No, that's a great... Oh, my God. And Katia missing an open goal. That's the... F that's the first time I've seen anything like that in this game. Usually, whenever you make a mistake, they're de Oh, my God. It's not going to be as smooth sailing as you guys all thought, right? As we still pick up the victory. Graven Birch with a fantastic first game. But some scary moments as Sassuolo could have actually handed us an L here. 100 million for Nicolo Zagnolo. The inflation at this point in the series is a little bit ridiculous as we had to sign Erling Haaland for like 300 million. He had a release clause, Zagnolo. Honestly, I'm just accepting an offer from anybody who actually comes in for him. As Inter have actually signed a couple of players. Montanari, a transfer offer. I wanted a loan for this young striker. And I just find like the long sleeves and the tucked in kit just looks good good for him thank you Sagnolo for everything you you did for us that winner in the semi-final remember that a couple of seasons back and honestly he won a couple Champions League he won a couple Scudettos Super Copas he, he comes out of here with a lot and PSG are going to be getting a fantastic player Locatelli no offers for him so this is going to be the lineup we have those players on the bench if ever we do need a quick simulation imagine if Spezia actually ruin our uh, invincibles run as we quick sim and it's gonna be 3-1 lorenzo colombo with two goals in the second half in the first half it was daniel maldini maldini and colombo scoring the, the three goals for us that's fantastic from them and then donald oh well it was stefano de rosa but yeah no clean sheet for us Gijo still has one and now our champions league campaign kicks off i can't show you this because i'm gonna get a copyright strike here's our group stance arsenal ghent Dinamo Zagreb, and then there's Real Madrid, Dortmund, AZ, Moscow, Bayern, Napoli, Villarreal, Besiktas, Spurs, Roma, it sucks that we had to remove the licenses from them, Lyon, Midgilan, and Inter, Berlin, Dynamo Kiev, Sparta Pra, PSG, Valencia, Salzburg, Shakhtar, Liverpool, Barca, Genk, Spartak, Man City, Leverkusen, Sporting, Moscow, Lokomotiv, Moscow, and I think Juve is actually down in the Europa League. Even Lazio. So yeah, Manchester United is in the Europa League as well. Where is Juve? Did they even like not... I don't think they finished in a European spot. Juve is not in a European Championship. This is what I was talking about. We have the lighting and turf mod. And when we're playing at night, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Dinamo Zagreb, I really don't expect much out of them since they're a team that they actually don't play. I don't think they sign themselves any players so it might be a, a pretty easy one for us and if i see it's a little bit too easy we might go to the next champions league match there is maldini lofgren erling holland with our previous champions league winner patch we have the nine champions league on the side of the shirt and that third kit is just like it's stunning guys <laughs> i'm so happy with myself with the kits for this new season and we're gonna look to maybe work on some for next season you guys should send me some suggestions like i said 
If you'd like to send me some kits for some other clubs, check the Discord and send me some there. Let's take on Dino Zagreb. Let's try to get a big victory here. Good by Sandro. Daniel Maldini. That's the number three. His father gave it to him. Lofgren into Erling Haaland now. Throw on goal as Erling Haaland going to smash it off the post Haaland I thought that was a sure goal for Erling Haaland Teo now recovers the ball Haaland to Pellegrini just tried to rush that and alright that's uh, that sucks alright plays it short for some reason Calabria Takeiro Teo Hernandez lovely stuff Erling Haaland Tomiyasu in the box looking for Erling Haaland finds <gasps> Oh my god, what a block. Or did he just miss hit it? And now they're on the counter attack. Tonali looking to go sliding in, guys. Not like this. And then they... How have we not scored a goal yet? Orzic. Now ah, they've turned it on Dinamo Zagreb. Tomiyasu going sliding in. That's a good ball over it. That's going to be offside. Zagreb. Almost taking the lead, but it's just offside. Guys. What a... Sh how do they just get in behind there? As Gijo Donnarumma with a big, big save. Zagreb. All right. I'm liking this. They're giving us a big game here. They really are, Esteo. Gonna head that one behind for just another corner. Let's drop it back in for Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland inside the box. Look for Ismail Benasser. Maybe should have looked for a strike partner and said, this is... I, I honestly... The way... It, I, I can't believe this. Gonna take forward Benasser. Lofgren. Pellegrini, he can find them. Good ball to Ivan Pellegrini now. Don't waste this. Don't waste this as Pellegrini. Lofgren, what are you doing, man? Lo Romagnoli, I'm getting my words all confused. Zagreb really are surprising me right now. Nil-nil at halftime. This is what I was saying about the lettering on the back of the kit. As you can see, Holland with the number nine, it's gold. I think it just it, it really <laughs> like shows a lot better there with the gold lettering, with the gold numbering as well on the shorts. There's Daniel Maldini. And just to make sure, yes, I think I'm going to have to add the patch of the nine Champions League to the left side on our kits. We have the 2025 Champions League patch as well. Starting the second half, guys, need to do a little bit better. We've been wasteful with our opportunities. I see done by Sandro Roma. Magnoli needs to get a last ditch challenge there as Holland keep going Olaf can he get the first goal of the game Olaf being almost closed down by the defender Olaf Lofgren gonna send out should have just shot with Lofgren gonna be blocked Erling Holland I'm wearing the, the home kit man I'm gonna be bringing on Lorenzo Colombo let's bring on Colombo he got those two goals last time let's see if maybe him and Maldini can link up once again and get us some goals that glitch is still there Holland finally making the run but this time we're gonna take him off now as Benacer whipping in Teo is not gonna get to it Colombo he can find Tomiyasu how did he f don't ref thank you very much and like our best free kick taker is off he got muscle Romagnoli get to it Get to it, Romagnoli. Clear this away, guys. Colombo. This has got to be yours. It's going to be Maldini who gets on the end of it. Come on, Daniel. Keep going, Colombo. Lorenzo Colombo now trying to take it into the box. Lorenzo Colombo with the dribbling. Almost going down. Staying strong, Lorenzo Colombo. And his first involvement is to whip in this corner. There is Olaf with the header. And a good save. Nice interception, Alessio. And now they're attacking with so many players forward. Meyer. Pellegrini, nice, be done by Pellegrini, Gravenberch, go Colombo, can he send them in behind, what a ball by Gravenberch to Lorenzo Colombo, who's in behind to win us the game, hopefully, Lorenzo Colombo, that's going to be three goals in his last two matches, and we finally break the deadlock in the 85th minute, Benacer Teo just didn't feel like, that's going to go off for a Dinamo Zagreb corner, these guys are pushing their team to get something here, Romagnoli, let me select him. That comes in. Get this away, Kessi. Clear it away, Pellegrini. Get this out, guys. Teo is going to clear it. As we narrowly escape here with a 1-0 victory. Colombo with the goal. Allen just wasn't at his best today. And there I am wearing the home kit. Honestly, you've convinced me. You really have convinced me. Lorenzo Colombo. Two goals in the Serie A match last time. He got a goal last time. He's going to start here. Pellegrini on the right. We're going to go with... 
Graven Birch, nice ball. Pellegrini from Lorenzo Colombo. Now gets an assist. He's doing so well. Nice passing. Pellegrini. Oh, wait, that was. Col no, Colombo just got another assist. Colombo just got another assist. I thought it was. 7.3 for Colombo. I'm sure that's his second assist. And we're 2-0 up. Let's hope that Gijo can get the clean sheet. I think we're. I think we can. Pick up the victory. No questions asked as we jump to result. Holland coming in and scoring. Colombo with two assists, a 9.2 for him. Unless he got another one. Holland came on for Lovka and imagine he got a third assist. Colombo is right now one of our second top goal scorers. Lovgren, Holland, uh, like Lorenzo Colombo. Could this be like the rise of Lorenzo Colombo that we were looking for when we actually loaned him out? Let's go, guys. This is amazing. Graven Birch is a little bit tired. We're going to start Kese. Colombo is tired, so we're starting Erling Allen on the left. Auge got himself a goal last time, so maybe back to what he should be doing. And we're going to go Tomiyasu. Romagnoli, we're gonna go Armi. No, let's go Tomiyasu and Alessio Romagnoli. This is going to be the lineup. Another Derby Kessi apparently playing out of position. So yeah, making a checklist. What I need to do for next episode is put the nine Champions League patches on the uh, on the sleeves and somehow get the Serie A team to show up when we're playing Serie A matches. There's Romagnoli and Gigio Donnarumma. I guess discussing tactics and hopefully by next episode maybe have some faces for Calabria, uh, Kessi, Benacer, Tonali's the only like midfield that we have with a real face. Gravenberch, honestly, is, I think it's going to be a big, big signing. I really, really do think it's going to be a big, big signing. And Inter Milan, they have Icardi and I don't really know who else. And <laughs> maybe I should have taken a look at their lineup. Looking like Lautaro Martinez, Icardi, Saint Maximin. That looks like, I guess, the generic face of Nicolo Barella. And like I said, guys, the lighting mods just, I, I they just bring so much. It's gonna be a fantastic game. Uh, fullback from our academy is growing nicely, so I'm hoping to see him get a lot of games. Kalulu to Can, but obviously he's at an age where he's not gonna grow that much more. Lautaro, Romagnoli, good challenge, Romagnoli. And the referee plays advantage, but we seem to have touched the ball there. And he still played on. Zubelidia, Romagnoli, getting that one right this time. Teo. Ha oh, what a save, Gigio and Hakimi. Just out jumping Teo. And now Inter with the corner. Say Maximin. Oh, okay. Barella. He's onside, yes. Kessi. Get on Zagadou. Don't give away a foul. Say Maximin now. Teo. Cross comes in. Gigio with the punch, Inter. What a game they're giving us right now. That's why it's a derby. Auge now looking to break and use that left side to his advantage with speed. As Erling Allen now. Just a poor touch. Drop it back in for Jens. He does. Jens outside the box. Ref. How was... Like... He didn't even call a foul. It finds Calabria. That's a ball. Olof with the bicycle kick. Over the bar. Barella. Good ball. Romagnoli. Lovely by Alessio. And Kessi gets it away. Tonali. Just snaps his foot at it. Erling Allen now. Can Pellegrini go? He does. Ivan Pellegrini now. Being closed down. Pellegrini trying to get it onto his good foot. And then just gets closed down. Waited way too long. Ivan Pellegrini now. Looking to send in a low cross. Auge. Tonali. Good passing here. As Allen finds Auge. Good ball. Jens hit the shot. Bernardoni with the save. Holland. It's not done yet. That's offside. End of the first half. What a game, guys. What a game. Opportunities on both ends. It could be anybody's. Calabria. Nicely done by Calabria. Ivan Pellegrini. Keep going, Pellegrini. From Lovgren. Can he just hit the shot instead? Why not? He's got that five-star weak foot. I wanted to fake it. And then just... I, for some reason, didn't let go. But it leads to a Milan corner. Erling Haaland's there. A little bit too close to the goalkeeper. Bernadoni with the grab. Inter just working it outside the box. St. Maximin. Good passing. Gigio called into action there. And he does what Gigio does. Sends to Teo. Can we break quickly here? We can. Auge lets it go through. And he's actually going to get to there. Te uh, Auge now looking for the cross. There is Love. Gren. If that would have went in. If that would have went in, 
He had an attempted bicycle kick there. There, looking like a Zlatan-esque. Oh my... If... Oh, man. Why can't those just go in? Let's go, guys. Lofgren, been so lively, and then he just clips his legs. As the referee just calling him back, has a talking to, it's going to be a yellow. Just trying to injure him. I think... Uh, yeah. Just goes right through and same Maximin Greenwood. I have a face for him that I just didn't put yet. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to have it for next time. Bustos. Teo having a hard time today. Having a hard time today. Between him and Hakimi. And then just tries to... Oh my god, Auge. Gets to it. Lovely by Auge. Go Auge. Use that speed, man. He's so good on the swing. He's so good. Looking for somebody to get forward. Gravenberch is not making the run I wanted him to. Going to find Teo. Teo Hernandez. Let's drop it in. Back for Jens. Jens looks for Lorenzo Colombo. Colombo in the box. Going to find Lofgren. Lofgren is there. He's onside. Yes, he is. Colombo. Another involvement. And it's all off Lofgren. Another goal for him. Colombo. Let's go, man. 1-0 in the derby. This, like I said, could have been anybody's game. But we take the lead here as Auge staying patient. Colombo. Nobody was marking Lofgren. Nobody was marking Lofgren. Good ball into Lorenzo Colombo. Inside the box, Colombo. Colombo, look. Just... St no way did Tomiasu miss that one. Go Romagnoli. Off a missed opportunity. Gigio come out. Gigio with the save. And Pellegrini recovers. I didn't, ex I didn't expect him to get to that one. Gigio keeping us in the game. Trying to keep his clean sheet. Put the pressure, guys. It's over. It's over. Milan winning the derby. And the majority of fans are Inter because they're the home side today. But what a great derby, guys. They did so well. Just Donnarumma at his best. And Olaf Lofgren with the goal. Colombo, another assist. Teo Hernandez, Lofgren. You know what? He got that goal last time. Maybe him and Colombo could work out together. That's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to have to obviously change that kit. And it says Silva up top. I don't know which one it is. Bologna has such a gorgeous away kit. Let's simulate this match and jump in if we have to. They made it by with a free kick just on the edge of the box. We're going to watch this. We have no effect on it if it goes in. And then that's going to be Bologna with the lead. As Demir by Svanberg jumping over it. Looking like it's Svanberg. You guys got to action. Get on that. Gijo Donnarumma with the save. And I'll go back to simulation. Because I wanted to see if that was going to go in. Scary moment from Bologna right there. Lofgren. Benasser. Ismail Benasser with the goal. Lofgren the assist. That's better guys. 25th minute. We take the lead. Gravenberch. Benasser, Lovgren. Keep going, Gravenberch. Lovgren. Gravenberch's gonna be scoring. Let's go, guys. I I think that might have been Colombo with another assist, if I'm not mistaken. I think it might have been Colombo with another assist. Romagnoli, good block. Gravenberch scoring his first goal as a Milan player. And we don't even get to see it because <laughs> we've been simulating. That's definitely going to be the end of the first half. As Romagnoli gets forward, let's actually just jump to result as it stays at 2-0. Gravenberch, Benacer with the goals coming from both of our midfielders. Holland coming on, Tonali coming on. But in the end, it's a big, big three points. And that's how he said, boys. But look at the month of October. Obviously, the friendlies I'm not going to play. These games, the only ones I might play are, I don't know, maybe Ghent, Arsenal for sure. But like Sampdoria, depending on where they are, obviously going to start that season in full force. Going to try to get the Juve licenses and Roma licenses. So to speed up this series, maybe six, seven episodes like it was last time, which was fantastic. I think it worked out very, very well. And it's clear you guys just still want to support this series. And I absolutely love that. Donnarumma now passed his actual overall that I stopped him at, which was 95, just doing so, so well. Now at a 96, Teo 94. Look at this stacked lineup of players and the guy with the most goals at the end of this episode is Lofgren with two in the Serie A. So he's... No, you know what? It's actually Holland right now who's going to try to get Capo Canonier. But obviously it can change two goals, five assists for Lorenzo Colombo. Absolutely incredible. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, you guys can leave me a like down below. I'm going to be updating the objectives and challenges before next episode. And I will see you next time. Thank you.